Today I'm gonna to try the best rated barbecue restaurant in Cincinnati. Not really known for its barbecue, Ohio, but uh, according to all the Google reviews of this place, it's got it. I rate barbecue restaurants on five different uh, categories. Okay, so we got ambiance, what's the venue like? We've got food quality, what do I think about it as a barbecue connoisseur myself? We've got value. Do I think I'm getting a fair value portion wise for the price we're paying? Weirdly enough, we have amenities like the bathroom. How clean is it? Because if the bathroom's clean, the kitchen's clean. But if the bathroom's dirty, I guarantee you the kitchen's dirty. And finally, customer service. How good is the customer service? So, depending on how these five things go, we'll know if this is the best place to eat barbecue in the great city of Cincinnati. So, all done. All right, so let's break down Eli's Barbecue in Cincinnati. First off, ambiance of the restaurant. I give it four out of five. I mean, it was really cool in there. It's a great little spot, very hole-in-the-wall dive, barbecue feel. The customer service was terrible. I'm just kidding. No, the customer service was great, five out of five. Everybody was friendly. Somebody came up and checked on me. Uh, I love that. Sneaky important, the bathroom. Clean, a little bit sketchy, kind of stepped out into the hall and it sort of like fell off and it was a little weird and, you know, whatever. But it's kind of like a bathroom you'd expect in a hole in the wall joint. So I'm going to give it a three out of five stars. The menu there at Edley's, very, very streamlined from a barbecue standpoint. So let's break down the meat. The pulled pork, there's a smoke ring there. So they're definitely smoking it. You can see the smoker in the picture here. They've, they've got the right equipment to do it. What I think they're doing though is pre-pulling it and putting it in some sort of a steam pan with liquid because it has a very roast type flavor to it. And unless you douse it with this barbecue sauce, uh, it's just not that good. The barbecue rib cooked really, really well. Really nice smoke ring on the outside of it. The flavor's really well. It's not too overdone. It's not too tough. Uh, it's a really well done rib. But again, I think they're pre-slicing them and then letting them sit in a steam table to stay warm so they can just serve them a little bit quicker because my rib, as you can see in the picture from the restaurant, was like there's this little film that developed on the outside, which really only comes from being cut and just sitting exposed to the air for, you know, half an hour or more. Uh, where this restaurant gets in trouble is the sides. The mac and cheese that I got is just Velveeta and noodles, and it's just bland. It tastes so thick. It's like you literally take a big bite out of a block of Velveeta and then throw some noodles in your mouth and just... The coleslaw is also average, it's very bland. There's no seasoning in it. There's no like, there's barely any vinegar. So you don't really even have any bite. My favorite thing in the restaurant though, this barbecue sauce specifically was the winner for me from this whole trip. This stuff is delicious. I would put this on anything, really, really good. So for a pulled pork sandwich, two sides, uh, I got two drinks because they don't have a fountain system there, which is kind of a bummer because it's very, it's cheaper to have a fountain drink system than it is to have bottles and cans. Fun fact I learned when I owned a barbecue restaurant. I'm going to give the food a, honestly, a two out of five. And I'm going to give the value, because I paid 30 bucks for it, a two out of five as well. I would give Eli's a four out of five stars. Not because you're going there to have the best barbecue ever, but you're kind of getting a unique eating experience from the way the picnic stuff set outside. 
Uh, you can bring your own beer in to drink, bring your own wine, which is really cool. Eli's should not be winning any barbecue contests anytime soon based on what I had today. But again, this is a small business and I don't mean any harm. This is uh, simply my opinion. I would encourage you that if you're in town to go try it for yourself and let me know what you think about it. I got a question for you. Have you ever wondered if McDonald's has a better chicken sandwich than Chick-fil-A, the inventor of the chicken sandwich? Watch this video right here and you can find out what I think.